Around the world, the countries are moving fast to install charging stations for the growing number of electric vehicles that will hit the roads in the coming years. We recently heard of Volkswagen announcing partnerships with the electric utilities and other operators to add more charging stations in Europe, in the USA and in Asia. In the USA, ChargePoint, the largest provider of electric vehicles or charging stations in the country, shipped over 31,000 ChargePoint ports during fiscal year 2021. The company expects to ship over 425,000 ports by 2026. Rivian, maker of electric trucks and SUVs, is taking a page from Tesla Playbook and has announced the Rivian Adventure Network, an ambitious plan of 600 supercharging stations offering 3,500 chargers by 2023 across the United States and Canada. These projects also have the support of the national governments. In the US, for example, President Joe Biden is pushing to add more than 500,000 charging stations over the next four years. On the other side of the Atlantic, the European Union has set a target for 1 million public charging points by 2024 and wants to increase the number to 3 million by 2029. The new fleets of clean vehicles on the roads will also include heavy trucks, and most likely they will run on hydrogen. And yet, the number of hydrogen charging stations goes from zero to a few dozens, even in the most advanced economies. Nikola wants to contribute to fill this gap. Nikola CEO Mark Russell gave a short presentation at a recent clean energy vehicles event. Here are the highlights. We've also known from the beginning here at Nikola that we had to solve the chicken and egg problem that's always been involved when you're talking about hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. You, you don't have hydrogen fuel cell vehicles because the fueling infrastructure is not there to support it. And you don't build the big hydrogen fueling network because you don't have the demand from the vehicles. What's unique about Nikola in the world is that we offer the world a bundled lease. We're going to sell you a fuel cell truck for your long range transportation needs. And we're going to we're going to service and support and maintain that truck for you. And we're going to provide the fuel in one bundled lease. The offering that we put out there early on was so well received that we've been able to focus on a launch customer, Anheuser-Busch. And Anheuser-Busch is forward thinking. They, as a corporation, have had a goal to eliminate their emissions. And that led to their partnership with us. And they've worked very closely with us. Hydrogen has many advantages besides the fact that it's zero emission. It's so energy dense as a fuel. Uh, it's hard to beat the energy density of fossil fuels. That's the thing that, that batteries run up against. When batteries are trying to move something heavy far distances, you start to run into the problem of energy density because batteries don't quite meet the energy density of fossil fuels. Hydrogen beats the energy density of fossil fuels. The amount of energy and a kilo of hydrogen is the equivalent of about three kilos of fossil fuels. It's the only thing out there that we know of that can beat fossil fuels as a transportation fuel. One of the challenges we faced early on is the actual infrastructure to fuel a heavy duty vehicle like a heavy truck didn't exist. So we've joined a consortium of industry players that includes Hyundai and Toyota, uh, Air Liquide, Nell, Shell. These are global leaders in this space who teamed up with us to come up with an infrastructure for fueling a heavy duty vehicle, including the, the hoses and the nozzles and the receptacles. And we are working together with them to standardize so that the world and the customers that we're trying to serve don't face the problem of lack of interchangeability. We'd like any truck to fuel in any station anywhere in the world. We're also extremely focused as we build out this hydrogen infrastructure on safety. As a lot of you will know, hydrogen has been safely used in the industrial gas space and in aerospace and other industries for many, many decades safely. Safety is our first concern when dealing with hydrogen and in the design of our stations and our equipment. And the good news is, is that with proper preparation, proper engineering design and procedures, that hydrogen can be very safe as other industries have already proven. So we're out to build stations, we're out to build trucks, so that we can prove that long haul commercial transportation can be zero also, not just battery electric, but fuel cell electric for the long haul. And we're, we're dedicated to building these stations where they need to be, hundreds of them in North America, uh, dozens of them in Europe, to be able to, to cover the ground. 
Uh, we're looking to build up to 700 or more hydrogen stations, which will also have fast electric charging for electric via battery electric vehicles in North America. And less than that number, larger average stations in Europe in phases. And Europe will go by phase. Uh, this color-coded map shows where we're going to start uh, in Northern Europe, in uh, Germany, in the Low Countries. And then we'll move to the balance of Western Europe. And then we'll pick up the, the balance of Europe in phase three. We couldn't be more excited about the future here at Nikola. We have battery electric prototypes that are coming into completion at our facility in Ulm, Germany that we share with our partner, Aveco. The first batch of prototypes will, will be completed this year and we'll begin validation and testing and regulatory approvals. We'll have another batch of those prototypes uh, next year and then we'll move into serial production next year and we'll be producing in phase one of our Greenfield manufacturing facility in Coolidge, Arizona. We'll have Ulm, Germany to cover the European market. We'll have Coolidge, Arizona to cover the North American market. At the same time as we're doing that, we're continuing the development of our fuel cell vehicles and the building of our hydrogen stations. Nikola is about establishing a safe, clean, sustainable, zero emission future for all of us on this planet. And helping to solve one of the toughest problems, which is how do you get heavy things long ways across far distances. Nikola has a solution for that. The solution, however, does not come from Nikola only, but in conjunction with a group of partners that shares Nikola's vision. Partners like Bosch, which invested in us early on and who brought us a technology uh, investment. You know, they joined our board of directors. Companies like Hanwha, who came early on and joined our company and, and has helped us develop the energy side of our equation. Companies like Case New Holland and their, their subsidiary of VECO, which have partnered with us with investment, joining our board also and helping us uh, develop the truck of the future. And as you can see on this slide, the truck of the future starts with a battery electric powertrain. Uh, world-class batteries, a world-class e-axle, motors, inverters, controls, software to control it all, infotainment for the driver, and telematics. But these are the things that we've been working on at, here at Nikola for years now with our partners. And then moving from the battery electric base powertrain to one that can go long range with a heavy load using hydrogen as the power and using a fuel cell engine to turn that hydrogen into electricity to get this zero emission vehicle with water as the only byproduct, water vapor mostly, to get at the kind of distances that you need in commercial trucking when you're talking about in interstate transportation of heavy loads.